my channel. Um, my name is Kendra. If it's your first time here, I go by Water Baby Kendra on YouTube. Um, you can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Same thing, Water Baby Kendra. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, please, please, please hit the subscribe button. We're trying to get to a thousand subscribers, and I really want to do a huge give giveaway for you guys when we do. So, yeah, please hit the subscribe button, and you can also click the notification bell. That way, you definitely never miss a video. But and I try to give you guys good quality, detailed videos. So. Yeah, if you um, want to know some more about the St. Ives new facial scrub, then keep okay, so before I get too deep into the video, I do want you guys to know that this review will make a lot more sense if you see my first review talking about the St. Ives. Um, it was the apricot scrub, and they also have like a pink grapefruit um, scrub. I have a video talking about those two um, in detail a lot, so if you haven't seen that video, I can link it. I will definitely watch that before watching this one. But yeah, let's get right into the, mo to the movie, to the video. <laughs> so this is my first time, or this is my first purchase of the St. Ives new Rise and Energize Coconut and Coffee Scrub. And it says wakes up skin for instant radiant glow. You know, it does happen to be like a new St. Ives scrub, you know, in Target, while well, I was in Target, as always. And I actually didn't even notice on the back, oh sorry, I have some extra scrub. <laughs> The back so you can see it is like brown like coffee but I didn't even realize on the back it does say from America's number one scrub brand rise and energize with a hundred percent natural exfoliants deeply exfoliates to wake up skin for instantly radiant glow so when I saw that St. Ives came out with this new um, coconut and coffee rise and grind face scrub knowing me <laughs> well if you're new you may not know but if you know me and been on this channel first thing I did was flip it around to the back and I looked at the ingredients and I kind of, since I was already in the store, I just picked up one of the, the apricot scrubs and kind of compared the ingredients to see, you know, kind of predict if I'm going to actually like it or what. The second ingredient is walnut shell powder, just like the apricot scrub. So automatically like that because the first five ingredients are pretty much what the product consists of. And considering the second ingredient is walnut shell powder and both of these, that means they have a pretty basic similar makeup, you know? So I was happy about that. I was like, okay, now I'm definitely probably gonna get this. And it's pretty good. It's pretty much the same ingredient list. It's just that instead of having, um, I guess you guess what is it, apricot extract like this one has, this actually has um, the last few ingredients is caffeine, coconut, fruit extract, and caramel. And actually, if you take it out, let me show you. It does. It does kind of have like, you know, it's kind of like a brown color. Like you definitely see the caramel. Just like the apricot scrub, this one also is pretty grainy. It has like on the back, it's all the way over on this side for like really deep exfoliation. And it does say for best results, use three to four times a week. But like I said, I still, I use it every day and I don't have any problems um, with my skin. It really does help my skin if anything. So it definitely gives you a really, really deep exfoliation when you use this. Um, but I also do feel like after I use this, my face feels a little bit, it feels really, really smooth after I use this. I don't know if it's like maybe the coconut in it too, or the caramel, but my face like feels really, really smooth. Not like a film is over it, but just like after I rinse it off in the shower, it just feels really, really smooth. Um, and I really, really like that. <laughs> I really, really like my skin feeling really, really smooth. It's kind of like the whole point of exfoliating to me is to get that smooth, um, finish on my skin afterwards like kind of like the whole point so I really do like how smooth it makes my skin feel and I do also feel like it does like wake me up in the morning a little bit like only reason I like to somehow sometimes I like to switch this out from my usual apricot scrub in the morning because I scrub like I said every day sometimes I switch out this and I use this when I honestly <laughs> when it's the morning I feel really really tired I don't know if it's working or, I don't know if it's really working or not but I swear I feel it's, I feel like I wake up so much more when I use this in the morning to scrub when I'm really tired than if I just use my regular scrub. So I don't know. I, I don't know. It's weird. I guess the caffeine in it, I don't know if it really can sink, like seep in and really affect you or not, but I don't know. It has caffeine in it and I really do feel like this wakes me up a little bit more. And it also leaves my skin really, really smooth. So I really did like that St. Ives came out with something that had like coconut in it. Cause I, per I love coconut. I love coconut oil. Coconut is just really, really, I think it's really good for your hair, and my hair loves it. So, 
I was happy I found something from them that had coconut in it. And it also has like coffee. And if you see one of my one of my videos I did, I reviewed the Shea Moisture Dragon Blood and Coffee Share um cherry. I did the hair stuff, but I also did the skin. And the skin stuff for that too also left my skin really, really smooth. Now that also had like the dragon blood, which is kind of meant to kind of fill in the wrinkles and fine lines and give you a smooth feel, but that line wake me up too. Like I used to use that mask when I was tired in the morning, the dragon blood mask that had coffee cherry in it. And it, I felt like it really woke me up and I feel like this really wakes me up. So I don't know, maybe it's just me. <laughs> I don't, I don't know, but I really, really like this scrub. It's really, really competing with my apricot scrub, but I want to keep using it because the apricot scrub got it's OG, got many, many years, many, many years in Arsenal, but this is a newbie. First bottle of it. And it's not even, I'm about halfway, about halfway through. So definitely still using this, but so far I really, really like it. I don't think I have any complaints. Oh, oh, the smell. <sighs> I like the smell. I personally like the smell. It really smells like mocha. It smells like coffee, but chocolatey coffee. Like, I guess it's the caramel in here too. So yeah, so far I really can't think of anything bad I have to say about this so far. And it's less than $4. It's super affordable, super effective, like every other St. Ives scrub. That's why it's, I guess, the number one <laughs> scrub brand in America. But it's, I don't have anything bad to say. So yeah, don't forget to comment below if you tried any St. Ives products that you really like or any other really good cheap um, skin products that work really good for you um, Comment below let me know because I'm kind of interested to see what else works really good for everybody because I don't think you need to have Very expensive skin products. I think skincare can be very simple very natural very cheap I personally don't want to spend a lot of money on skincare and I don't and <laughs> I don't have bad results so. so yeah, don't forget to like comment and please subscribe guys, please please subscribe <laughs> and Yeah, hopefully see you in my next video